there, as you can see by this video's title, we do have a very special and honoured guest today. Where is that guest? Well... Hi. I'm going to supervise. Great. He did say he would be in this video today, but it would be entirely up to him as to when he shows up. So how is this video going to work? I hear you ask. Great question. What we're making today will be entirely up to the choice of my cat. I have five categories and in each of those categories several choices that Lincoln will be able to choose which will dictate today's baking. Those categories are what we're actually baking, what flavour it's going to be, what's inside it, what fillings there are, what's going to be on top, and one wildcard option that I have to include. So to start us off, the first category is what we're actually baking, and he's got four choices there, cupcakes, cookies, brownies, or a cake. And bear in mind, it was his first choice of the day, so it did take a little bit of figuring out. This is what he chose. Cake, cookie, cupcake, or brownie? Which one? Which one what? Which one? What is this? You gotta pick. Pick what? Pick one of these. I don't understand. What are these? What are these? Nothing of interest to me. <laughs> I <laughs> This is a strange game. Okay, let me have a think. Oh, treats. He's got the cake. Good boy. <laughs> Taking that one back. Oh. Fantastic choice, Link. Well done. I think he knows that my favourite things to bake recently have been cake, so I really appreciate that choice. Before we start baking today, I need to know what flavour, and we've got several flavours that he can choose from. There is a couple in there that I really don't want it to be. I'll let you guess which ones those are. But let's see what Lincoln chose. Orange. Chocolate chip. Berries, lemon, vanilla, mint. Do you want to choose one of these without a treat? No. Oh, I think you touched lemon or chocolate. Or vanilla. Let's take out these three because you don't want these three. I'm just going to put a vanilla, orange and chocolate. This is the flavour of the cake link. Vanilla, orange or chocolate. Oh, treats. Okay, now pick one. Vanilla, orange, or chocolate? Oh, did you touch the vanilla? You think that's not... I think that's a vanilla. Very basic, Link. This one? Perhaps more treats for a good boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, bit basic, but good to build on. So we're going to start off by baking a gluten-free vanilla cake base and Lincoln will have a couple more choices and what we're going to add to that later on, but let's just start off with the basic cake. We're going to start off how we start off any good basic sponge, a heap load of butter and a heap load of sugar. I'm doing about 220 grams of butter. I tried to soften it in the microwave, but it has melted, unfortunately. Um, there's a tiny bit of packaging in it. To this, I'm going to add 200 grams of caster sugar, and I'm just going to beat it up. So you can see how that's gotten much lighter and much creamier. That's what we want. Now I'm going to crack in, I think I'll do four eggs. Yes, I just noticed I said eggs instead of eggs. You'll have to forgive me for that. I've been working in a uh, restaurant down the road where no one understands my accent. So I have adapted a few things and forgotten to turn that off when I came home. We're just going to do one egg at a time. Our dry ingredients. First up, I've got some gluten free self raising flour, 50 grams of rice flour, teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon xanthan gum. Am I doing okay? I am a shadow. Fantastic. I'm just going to take a spatula and fold this all in. Nice. 
Now we're going to shoot back over to Lincoln to find out what he would like in his very plain vanilla cake. Lincoln, what did you choose? Next up, we've got chocolate chips, nuts, raisins, good God, I hope not, Nutella, sprinkles. Nutella? Why are there no treats for this oh, sprinkles. one? Sprinkles. Oh, you touched sprinkles. Where are the Is treats, that? please? Sprinkles. Honestly, a very fair choice. This is kind of turning into a bit of a fun feedy cake, which isn't something I've ever made before. And my main worry here is the dyes in the sprinkles, are they just going to melt into the cake and look horrendous? Guess we'll find out. So I've got several different types of sprinkles. Work through this with me. I'm pretty sure the ones that you'd normally use are the this shape. You see that? Like the sort of long strands. But these colours are so boring. So I've got these ones as well, which are probably more the colour scheme that I want. Except there's, I don't know if you can see, there's like little balls in there. I reckon we just chuck these two in together. I've also got the hundreds and thousands sprinkles. Lots of crunchy ones. Some stars, don't even know why I got them out to be honest. The Christmas themed ones, I'm not sure what I'm thinking there either. I'm just gonna go with these two. <laughs> Few more? I think a few more. Let's do the rest of these. Try and spread that out as much as possible. I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees just on bake. This type of cake usually takes about 40 minutes to bake, so I'm going to pop it in for an initial 25 and then come back and check on it. Right, so the cake's in the oven. What's the link up to? Are we still making that video? Right, should we go for a walk <laughs> then? Stay close. It's dark and you might get lost. After walk treats, please. I am waiting so patient. Is it bedtime now? What about the cake? Oh, I forgot. It's almost ready, Link. I don't care to be honest. Just pulled the cake out of the oven. It has sunk in the middle owing to me opening up the oven door way too early, but that's okay. That's okay, I'm pretty hopeful that I'm gonna be able to save it. Let me show you the damage. Can you see? <laughs> it will be fine. So either I'm just gonna flip it upside down and pretend like it never happened once it's cool, or I'm gonna make it a ring cake, but I don't know if I will decide that right now. I think I'm gonna let it cool down overnight and then ice it in the morning. Good morning, we're back to finish Lincoln's cake. As you can see, the cake is just there. I flipped it over and it's looking kind of okay, so I think I'm just gonna ice over it and smooth out the top. He's gonna bite me. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna pop you here. But what are we gonna ice it with now is the question. See ya. Lincoln, that was your choice yesterday. Do you wanna show us what you picked? I say sprinkles, coffee, chocolate. Which one? No choosing without treats. Okay, pick on. Icing? Right, icing, fantastic. So we're gonna ice this cake and I thought best now to get Link to choose his wildcard option because I might be able to work that into how we're gonna ice it. So Link, what did you choose for the wildcard? So this cake has to have the word Lincoln, some paw print, black and white colors, or a cat shape. So pick one of those. No. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you please pick one of these? Which one? How about if I do this? Oh, this one. Paw prints. 
So, <laughs> culprits, how cute, great, fantastic. I know that we're only doing one wild card, but I actually think that it would be quite cool to ice this cake in a black and white pattern. So I think I might do that as well. So let's ice this bad boy up. I'm not going to ice in the middle because of our little sinkage problem. I don't want to destabilize it further. So I'm just going to ice a top and around. I'm going to make some cool patterns and hopefully it's going to be delicious. So to ice it, I thought I'm going to make a huge buttercream mixture just with a little bit, just with some unsalted butter, icing sugar, splash of water, and then I'll divide it into two, keep one half of it white, and I'll make one half of it black. And I think we'll do the sort of cow pattern that Link has. We'll try to over top. And then we're going to have to figure out how we can do cool prints. Anyway, let's do this bit. Here we are. Okay. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Where's the fun penny? <laughs> so, here's the cake. Somehow, the all of the sprinkles that I use have just absorbed into the cake and are, in fact, nowhere to be seen. They're still in there, technically, I guess. Let's give it a go. Good cake. Quite plain. Where did they... I think they just disintegrated. There you go, there's seriously nothing, no trace. Good cake though. Okay. What do you think of the whole process? Very boring, but I like the treats. Fair enough. Okay, well, I hope you like the cake that I made you. I'm indifferent. Sorry you can't eat it. But thanks for the inspiration. Don't worry, there's no cake on my fingers. He's just giving me a look. So kind. Uh, we're going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.